President Vladimir Putin is poised to tighten his grip on power on Sunday in a Russian election that is certain to deliver him a landslide victory, though some opponents staged a symbolic noon protest at polling stations against his rule. Putin, who rose to power in 1999, is poised to win a new six-year term that, if he completes it, would enable him to overtake Joseph Stalin and become Russia's longest-serving leader for more than 200 years. The election comes just over two years since Putin triggered the deadliest European conflict since World War II by ordering the invasion of Ukraine. He casts it as a special military operation. War has hung over the three-day election. Ukraine has repeatedly attacked oil refineries in Russia, shelled Russian regions and sought to pierce Russian borders with proxy forces. A move Putin said would not be left unpunished. While Putin's re-election is not in doubt given his control over Russia and the absence of any real challengers, the former KGB spy wants to show that he has the overwhelming support of Russians. Voting ends at 1800 GMT on Sunday. The Kremlin has sought a high turnout, and as polls opened for a third day in Western Russia, officials said the turnout in the first two days had already reached 63% nationwide. An exit poll will be published shortly after voting ends at 1800 GMT. Supporters of Alexei Navalny, who died in an Arctic prison last month, had called on Russians to come out at a noon against Putin protest to show their dissent against a leader they cast as a corrupt autocrat. Alexei was fighting for very simple things, for freedom of speech, for fair elections, for democracy and our right to live without corruption and war, Navalny's widow, Yulia, said in a message to a rally in Budapest on March 15. Putin is not Russia. Russia is not Putin. There was no independent tally of how many of Russia's 114 million voters turned out at noon to show opposition to Putin. Amid extremely tight security involving tens of thousands of police and security officials. Reuters journalists saw a slight increase in the flow of voters, especially younger people, at noon at some polling stations in Moscow and Yekaterinburg, with queues of several hundred people. Some said they were protesting. Leonid Volkov, an exiled Navalny aide who was attacked with a hammer last week in Vilnius, estimated hundreds of thousands of people had come out to polling stations in Moscow, St. Petersburg, Yekaterinburg and other cities. At polling stations at Russian diplomatic missions from Australia and Japan to Armenia, Kazakhstan and Georgia, hundreds of Russians stood in line at noon. Over the previous two days, there were scattered incidents of protest as some Russians set fire to voting booths and poured dye into ballot boxes, drawing a rebuke from Russian officials who called them scumbags and traitors. Opponents posted some pictures of ballots spoiled with slogans insulting Putin.